Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Dear viewers, today we will go to the next part of our tutorial course on Protein Structure 2019. Now we will go for first story, edit story. This basement story height is 4.2 meter. So we will edit this one. Here we can provide description this basement. Okay okay apply now this height adjusted as 4.2 meter now we will go for slab here go to slab here the label and type here are different type we will use from here slab slab table set slab types automatically if we use this after finishing slab modeling then all slab tile type will be selected automatically so here we will not change anything this is slab type like all side discontinuous or three side discontinuous like this this is different type now we will provide slab thickness for example here we will take 180 millimeter concrete cover this 30 millimeter load self weight whatever it is mm -hmm. here we can provide manual value this kilo newton per meter square or we can provide this room terrace balcony lower slab these things we can edit library edit or here slab additional load library from here here we can add more type and load here layer name this is the layers in the slab main concrete slab then floor finishing other layers so here we can change value here we can add bathroom here you can change color like this here select material concrete layer thickness 170 millimeter then add here select material cement gypsum floor is grid cement grout grout with lime here as per the requirement you can choose material here thickness 25 milli accordingly it will add the load click on ok now go to slab here and then load here 30 millimeter clear cover load here we can select room if we choose bathroom then or we can manually provide the value for floor finishing 2 kN per meter square imposed load here if we right click from here we can choose the live load or imposed load as per the occupancy okay or we can manually change the or manually provide the live load or imposed load we will take 3.0 kilo newton per meter square as live load for this all slab area now here we can click to create slab here there is different option for slab modeling axis region beam region peak axis peak point so as there is beam area so we can choose this one like this
this portion we will use this one so here we can click this grid this grid this grid and this one this portion and this portion is ramp for creating cantilever we can draw slab column as line from here like press f2 for example 2.5 meter or 2 2 meter cantilever 2000 millimeter press tab then here edit angle minus 90 degree press enter then this side press control for example 4 meter distance press f2 4000 millimeter then tab here this is del y del y should be 0 press enter then here control select now right click finish here this point should be from grid level or axis level again we can draw this one like this finish now we can draw slab in this one like this in this way we can draw cantilever now this one i don't need i will delete now we need to create opening we will go to opening here then from here to here we have to drag this mouse to create opening so for this one we need to know the diagonal dimension this diagonal length is 7.81 and the angle is 36.66 degree now here we can see this point to press f2 seven eight one zero seven point eight one meter then press tab angle is minus thirty six point six six degree press enter now this is the opening like this for staircase if you want to move this opening we can move this like press control 200 millimeter like this so this is our slab and opening we have finished for slab udl it is done with the slab properties load this dead load 2 load finish 2.0 kN and impost 3 now if we want to provide the wall load we can see from 3d view from here we can click on beam right click edit beam wall load we can define wall length manually this beam length is 8.4 meter if it is up to the middle of beam we can provide 4.2 meter reference from x 0 and unit wall unit weight for example 3.4 kN per meter square as usual it is 18 kN per meter cube as the unit weight of wall then multiplying by thickness it will come like we can calculate here 
18 into 0.2 meter 20 centi wall thickness 3.6 kN per meter so here we can put 3.3.6 kN per meter square as it is in meter square so wall height here we can provide 4.2 minus beam height is minimum will be 60 centi so 4.2 minus 0 0.6 it will come 3.6 meter wall height we can see here it will be at half portion and the wall thickness is 0 0.2 meter then click on ok now we can see this half of the beam length there is wall like this for full wall length we can unmark this one click on ok like this so we can copy this one copy beam wall load and select the beams where the same for the same wall located and paste copied beam load yes so here you can see the beam load applied so for applying load on retaining wall we can go to plan view right click here edit member load edit member load here we will provide new load this load coming from the slab in this way now go to new load this udl uniform dead load as a for wall load here you can write wall load 10.6 kN per meter click ok okay edit member load new load same way 10.6 click on ok ok ten point six okay if we need to apply this slab load like this line load value 10.6 kN per meter for example here from this point to press control then you can provide manual distance press F2 58 double zero tab this zero enter now this load we can see in 3d this is the load on slab without beam so in this way we can draw slab then opening then we can apply load on beam on slab and on retaining wall in the next tutorial we will go to next part so stay tuned with decode bd press like button if you like the tutorial and share the tutorial with your engineering friends and colleagues and thanks for watching press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update